Hey guys, we are continuing to, uh, to analyze our situation, to listen to our authorities, and the hints and tips that we're picking up is that we can expect uh, some of our restrictions to continue on past the end of April. So we're beginning to uh, look at some of those different dates that will be affected, like for example, a concert that we had planned with the Martins on May the 17th. It looks like that's going to have to be rescheduled, but they're uh, very gracious and, and willing to work with us on picking a new date for that. So we look forward to bringing them and their ministry uh, to see you later on this year. Another thing that we're working on is trying to make sure that our graduates realize this year that we honor them, that their accomplishment is meaningful. And so uh, Pastor Tyler is working on how we can do that. So if you would uh, follow up with him, that would be fantastic. We're continuing to, to look at things later on in the summer, like Vacation Bible School and how this might affect that and our ability to prepare for that. So Pastor Rob, I would appreciate your prayers as he continues to wrestle with that. And we have those discussions in our staff meetings on Zoom, of course, because because we're trying to make sure that we are practicing social distancing. Uh, one other thing I wanted to say uh, while I have your attention for just a moment is that we want to serve. Uh, you have been so generous and so gracious to give throughout this uh, pandemic that Lincoln Avenue, uh, we're, we're able to continue our ministries like nothing is, is going on. We're redirecting some of our efforts and some of our funds. So you should know we've had opportunities where the hospital has called and said, hey, we had a, a young mom that needs some diapers and some formula and some different things like that. We were able to help because of your giving. Uh, there are individuals in our community who have uh, ongoing needs that we've been able to help because of your giving. So thank you for your giving. Don't forget that our deacons do the same thing in-house so you can give to the Deacon Benevolent Fund and they're helping members who are going through difficult times right now also. Another thing I want you to know is that if you go to labcjacksonville.org, that's our church website, there are several forms there that you can fill out and how we can help and how we can come alongside people in our community to encourage them and support them at this time. But another thing that we can do is we can offer prayer. So if you have a prayer need, if you're struggling, uh, you're discouraged, maybe there's something going on in your life and you're not sure how, you, how to handle it, we would love to pray with you. Go to labcjacksonville.org, fill out those forms, and let one of our volunteers call you back and pray with you through it. We love you guys. We want to serve him by serving others in our church family and in our community demonstrating what the love of Jesus looks like. Thank you guys for praying for us. Thank you for being so faithful. And we can't wait till we can get back together and worship again. We'll be praying for that day to come and to come soon. We'll talk to you guys later.